Hi everybody, it's Steve Bloom, your real estate Sherpa, and today I'm going to give you two hints on how to get more out of selling your house in today's market. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So today I want to go over two concepts that are working really well in this market right now. So let's talk about the first one. If you're selling a home, underprice it on the market. I know you say that's ridiculous, right? I've decided to sell my house at the top of this market. I want to get as much as possible for it. You still might be able to by underpricing your home. Now remember, interest rates are low, which is bringing out more buyers. Inventory is slowly raising. And so homes are sitting on the market a little bit longer. Offers are not coming in as strong as they were a month ago. So what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to tell you, underprice your home. If your home is worth $505,000, price it at $495,000. What? Why would I want to do that? This will bring back the mentality that once they realize all the work you've done to bring your house onto the market, all the inspections you've done, all the cleaning you've done, everything, they're going to be inclined to really want it and pay more for it. And that's where you're going to be getting over asking offers on your house. I just finished one. We It was worth 500,000. We offered it at 489 and it sold for 507. And we even got an offer for 515 on it, which the seller deter decided not to take. So what I'm telling you is underpricing your house will excite the buyers. They will see it's a good deal and they will bid your house up. Now, the second trick I want to tell you about is do all your inspections up front. That would be bringing a property inspection, a roof inspection, and a pest inspection. Get all of that done. Why would you want to spend the money when the buyer can spend the money after they've accepted your offer? Well, this is going to make sense. First of all, you want to know everything that the buyer is going to throw at you up front. The second thing is you're going to be able to take your time in making these fixes and repairs. You're not under stress. You don't have a timeline. You'll be able to find the cheapest and the best contractor to do the work. Test, get that done. Have it all fixed up because we want a clean pest report, whether it's conventional FHA, VA, or USDA. We want to have that home in tip top condition. So the next thing is put in new carpets, paint the house, make that house as desirable as possible. Overall, why are you doing this work? You're doing this work. So when your buyer makes an offer, an over asking offer on your home, they're going to feel confident and comfortable that you have gone through the home. You found the minor, major and safety issues. You've taken care of them and you are delivering them at time of offer a cherry perfect house. Well, no house is perfect, but a good condition. Now they can still do all of their own inspections and you just sit back and smile when they all come up zero, zero, and zero. So ladies and gentlemen, using those two tactics, I can tell you, you're going to get over asking offers even when the market is cooling down. So take that thought, give me a call if you'd like more information on how to, to accomplish this. I'm at 916-647-7014 or give me an email or text steven at sherpahomes.com. 
Now, I answer questions here on my video twice a month. If you have a question I haven't addressed, please reach out to me and let me know. And I'll make you a video. Anyway, thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next time.